Actress Trace Lizette has revealed that the Yas Queen scene from the second season of Amazon's Transparent was far from the hilarious and authentic moment it appeared to be on screen. According to a THR story from Seth Abramovich, Lizette alleges that the show's star, Emmy Award-winning Jeffrey Tambor, who plays transgender matriarch Maura Pfefferman, sexually harassed her before filming of the scene began. According to Lizette, when she emerged from wardrobe in her yoga teacher costume, a lingerie top and short shorts, Tambor remarked, My God, Trace, I want to attack you sexually. Alexandra Billings, the third actor in the scene, was present to hear the remark, she confirms. Both laughed it off because it was so absurd, Lizette says. A few minutes later, while waiting for a camera setup between takes, Lizette was standing in a corner on the soundstage set. That's when she says Tambor, dressed as Mora, wearing a green satin kimono and grey wig, approached her. Lizette says, He came in close, put his bare feet on top of mine so I could not move, leaned his body against me and began quick, discreet thrusts back and forth against my body. I felt his penis on my hip through his thin pajamas. Lizette pushed Tambor away and, quote, rolled my eyes. Billings was not present for this alleged incident, and several crew members were nearby, but, Lizette says, they were focused on their jobs. It was discreet. If you were behind Jeffrey, you might have thought he was giving me a hug. The actress, who is transgender, is the second from the transparent payroll to come forward with allegations that Tambor has subjected them to sexual harassment, sexual assault, and generally abusive behavior on the set of the critically adored series. The first accuser, Van Barnes, is a trans woman who worked as Tambor's personal assistant and whose allegations have led to an internal investigation by Amazon Studios. Lizette shared a house with Barnes while Barnes worked as Tambor's assistant. She would pick him up in the morning and bring him home at night and everything in between, Lizette recalls. She would come home wrecked and stressed. I saw him break her down. She for the most part kept it to herself. She was just like, girl, he's a piece of work if you only knew what I'm going through. But I knew. Both Lizette and Barnes say they approached Transparent Producers with their complaints about Tambor, but no action was taken. Tambor issued this statement to THR in response to Lizette's allegations. For the past four years, I've had the huge privilege and huge responsibility of playing Maura Pfefferman, a transgender woman, in a show that I know has had an enormous positive impact on a community that has been too long dismissed and misunderstood. Now I find myself accused of behavior that any civilized person would condemn unreservedly. I know I haven't always been the easiest person to work with. I can be volatile and ill-tempered, and too often I express my opinions harshly and without tact. But I have never been a predator, ever. I am deeply sorry if any action of mine was ever misinterpreted by anyone as being sexually aggressive or if I ever offended or hurt anyone. But the fact is, for all my flaws, I am not a predator and the idea that someone might see me that way is more distressing than I can express. According to an Amazon spokesperson, this information will be added to our ongoing conversation. To read more ongoing coverage of this story, including Trace Lizette's full statement made to The Hollywood Reporter Seth Abramovich, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.